Adventures and this is my 2017 Fat Boy Low Red Iron Denim and Rusty, my other fat boy, is going to go through a few mods with you. Take it away Rusty! Well thank you Kimmy, I'll get into showing the people out there what we've done to your fat boy Low to make it a road touring bike for all the amount of K's we do. Some of them are just very cosmetic <laughs> for the look. So here we go. Right, this is her fat boy low. And as you can see, the very first first thing we did to this bike was lower it. Because Kim is only 4 foot 11. So that is very small, especially for such a big bike. But we lowered that. They put this lowering kit in it, the one here up on the screen now, and that dropped it one inch. Now, the next thing we did was put this on. A Super Reach lowered solo seat, I think it's called, and that pushed her forward so she could reach the controls okay on the bike, which made a hell of a difference, and it also pushed her away from the primary because her leg was coming across here now comes across here because it pushes her forward about three inches set it up for touring for luggage so we got these saddlebags off Harley this is all done up the Gold Coast in Queensland when we brought the bike so that's the bags and they are quick release they come off within about 10 seconds we also did a couple other little modifications as in one USB charger there we placed on the bike and one quad lock mount for her phone. We've run a lot of mounts on different bikes and we've found this to be the best one we've had so far. You might think it might jump around a fair bit on the handlebars but it doesn't. It's really stable. All you do is put it in like that and that's it. Look how solid that is. We've run the X grip and everything before but we don't quite like them as much and a couple others. We put a windscreen on it. Now this windscreen's only just been put on not long ago. Here it is here. It is a Harley Davidson windscreen but that windscreen was actually 21 inches tall. So uh, where is it? That's the bottom of the screen there. It come up another six inches about there. So Kim was looking through it too much. So oh, Rusty here, he cut it down and it has been cut down to 15 inches I think it was we cut it down to and now it's all good for her and we actually got that off Facebook marketplace so that was a pretty good buy that also we've put this is cosmetic Willie G brake pad that's in there I have colored the eyes in red and shifter peg covers on and as you can see the eyes are colored in red purely cosmetic we've put on a screaming eagle spark plug leads orange ones now Kim likes the look of these with the color of her bike we've got a Harley Davidson what do you call them footrest pad now we needed that because when we do go camping on the motorbikes so it was sinking into the ground a bit at campsites so we got that as well i know you can use a piece of wood but hey eight bucks or something you know cheap as another accessory for the bike for when she hasn't got a luggage rack on the back which i'll show you in a minute is a fender bib it is a harley davidson one and it just covers the fender we never really two up on this bike so that's just it for a bit of show we put this lay down number plate holder on the back of the bike it's a Kurrican I think it's a Kurrican one this one but the other number plate if you look at the back of the Harleys sits up about this high and they look awful this is just more discreet and lays down with the shape of the back of the bike 
she wanted some axle nut covers so there's one there F this is on the front wheel the other one's just over the other side oh i don't think you can see it now the tires we run on this bike are pirelli night dragons these with this is the second set we've had on the bike and they are very good all the other tires we've tried including the ones they come out with the dunlop i think they might be dunlop 404 i'm not sure i'd have to look that up but they're a lot harder these pirelli night dragons are a bit softer and we actually get a lot better k's out of it and it's a lot better handling in the corners so i'll just give you a peek of them that's the front one right there and the back one if you can see it is right there nothing much nothing much really to look at there but those tires are an excellent tire for these bikes for the bigger bikes the next thing was more luggage on our mainland trips and this is a setup we're using now right there i've put a hepco becker plate on top of this and as you can see it is one of the touring rack luggage um, brackets now they don't make them for this bike for this size wheel for the other for the fat boys earlier on with a smaller wheel smaller size back wheel they made them but not for this so we did have to do some modification so this is the modification for it. now they are a quick release bracket i'll just show you that's them there so it's quick release off the bike but i had to cut it in half and bolt on that plate and it is quite stable like i said it's set up the these actual racks here are set up for the fat boy with a smaller size back wheel this has got the 200 on it so we had to cut it in half i suppose what do we got there inch and a half something like that and uh we bolted that together now that is a great option i'll show you the bag that goes on the back of it this is the bag that sits on the back of it look at that it looks pretty sweet doesn't it and it sits perfectly on this plate here and we just put straps over the top of it it's a new addition to the bike we haven't done many k's with them on yet but we've put these highway bars on you can see there i hope my shadow's not in the way i'll take it across that's them there that's look from the front now i thought i'd put these on just in case she ever lays the bike over just for a bit of protection the bike does weigh i think it's 330 kilos with petrol and oil that's without luggage and without the, all the bags on the bike so it's a fair size bike for someone that's only very little four foot eleven and a half or something she is so she does a bloody good job on this bike and she absolutely loves it as well on the bike is a set of Reinhardt slip-on mufflers which are those there which blend in a very nice look of the bike and sound great I'll give you a listen <laughs> Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's a look at Kim's bike, set up for touring road trips around Australia and for camping.